Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Phil, and um, I don't usually do something like this, but I wanted to take the time out today to do something special. Um, I wanted to film a tribute video to someone who I have known for many years, who sadly we have lost today, uh, by the name of Brandon Cole, but more commonly known as Super Blind Man across the internet, and particularly in the accessibility communities for uh, video games. Uh, Brandon was an awesome guy. Um, he was the best of us. And what I mean by that is Brandon lost his sight when he was very young. And he used that as a means to create positivity and to help others. At a time in our world where so many people are hyper-focused on being selfish and, and being all about themselves and only about you know, what benefits them tearing down others, stepping on others to get ahead in life. Uh, Brandon was the complete opposite. Uh, he loved video games and he wanted others to be able to share that love and be able to experience things that normally they wouldn't be able to due to some kind of a, you know, a disability or handicap. And he used his disability as a way to explain to game developers, hey, this game would be great and I'd love to experience it, but I can't because I can't see. Here's the kind of things that you could do to make your game accessible to those just like me. And it's pretty amazing what he did. Um, take a look at a game like The Last of Us Part Two, where essentially that game has a built-in sonar system for people who can't see to use sound to figure out how to play the game and where things are in the environment you know i saw brandon play that game on a twitch stream a few years ago and i was absolutely blown away at what he had done in conjunction with naughty dog to make that game fully accessible um and then you know just recently with the most recent forza release he was working directly with that dev team to make the first basically fully ever drivable video game for the blind and that's what I mean. He used a disability as an actual ability to help others. And that's an amazing thing, something that you rarely see in this day and age. You know, I knew him for many years. He was a longtime uh, fan of my content. And although, obviously, in the last several years, we, we drifted apart, he went off to do such great things in the video game accessibility community that we just didn't talk that much anymore. But we did every once in a while kind of reconvene and have a chat here or there. Um, and this is an awful loss, you know, uh, I've always been a champion for accessibility and I'll be honest, it's a lot of the fact due to him because I knew him and I knew how important it was to him. And I was made aware of that community because of him and his positive actions. So this is not only a huge loss, obviously for those of us who knew him and for his family and friends but to an entire group of people across the globe who love this guy for the work that he did and the positivity that he portrayed and pushed forward in so many different communities. I know he was known in the Hearthstone community as well for playing that game, um, you know, with accessibility features and everything uh, and just opening up so many people's eyes to accessibilities in video games and basically people who, who wanted to play games and needed that help would go to him and he'd say, yeah, this game's accessible. Here's how this, you know, and that's amazing. Again. It's rare in the modern world to find someone who made such an amazing positive out of a negative and someone who exuded that level of just wanting to help people around him because he knew that was the right thing to do. Not because it benefited him, not because of some kind of crazy personal fortune that he w wished to amass doing it, but instead just because he was a nice guy. Brandon, rest in peace, man. We're going to miss you. You were a really good guy. And, you know, it's, it's a shame that we lose the best people so early. For those of you who knew Brandon, you know why I'm feeling this way. And uh, all I wish is for the accessibility community, I wish you the best. Um, this is going to be a huge loss, but things are going to get better, I feel, for, for the community. Things have been getting so good 
in regards to accessibility for video games. And I really hope that as a result of Brandon's work, that things continue to get better. Thank you all. And uh, rest in peace. Brandon Cole, super blind man, a truly great man.